I think that the uh, issue of sex hormones and, and lupus is a very important one because I think, as you'll see, it addresses some of what we've been talking about throughout of uh, genetic heterogeneity in the disease, whether there are particular therapeutic strategies for particular patients. And obviously, it also um, might give rise to new therapeutic strategies that would be much less immunosuppressive than the current cytotoxic drugs we use and corticosteroids. So it's been known for a long time that many autoimmune diseases occur much more frequently in women than in men. And lupus is one that has one of the most uh, pronounced uh, discrepancies in, in incidence. So what could account for that? Well, obviously, it could be a matter of an X chromosome, uh, or it could be uh, hormonal. And so uh, for hormones are many studies that have been done in mouse models of lupus that suggest that uh, in uh, some uh, spontaneous lupus strains of mouse, uh, the disease can be accelerated and made more severe with earlier mortality uh, with uh, estrogen. The female to male ratio is nine to one, but if you look before puberty, it's two or three to one. And if you look after menopause, it's two to one. So the increase in uh, female incidence of disease is really when women have high estrogen levels. Um, it, uh, there's some evidence that it occurs more often in women who make more estrogenic metabolites of uh, estradiol. And so there's been a lot of suggestion that hormones, that estrogen plays a role in lupus, but the clinical studies that have actually looked at whether uh, exogenous estrogen in the form of oral contraception or hormone replacement therapy can either increase the incidence of lupus or increase the severity of lupus have been um, very contradictory. And people have ended up, I think, um, interpreting these uh, contradictory data as negative data. And what I want to suggest to you today is that the proper interpretation may not be that it's negative data, but genetic heterogeneity. So there is a subset of individuals who have a potentially hormonally exacerbatable disease and others who don't and that this heterogeneity, when put into clinical trials, can lead to randomly showing an effect or not showing an effect, depending on the uh, composition of the patients in the trials. So uh, we've been interested in the effects of estrogen on B cell development, uh, because like many of those people who uh, we're interested in B cell targeted therapies in lupus. We think that B cells are a major player in lupus, both for their production of autoantibodies, which as far as we know, are the initial triggering event for all tissue injury in lupus. 